All right, guys, Lifting Titan here with uh, Realms Gaming. We are back with a Let's Code in C++. Uh, this episode, we're going to be going over, or lesson, we're going to be going over uh, if-else statements and comparative statements. This is my GitHub, guys. Feel free to give me a follow. Let's go ahead and uh, get coding. All right, guys, so we're going to do, be doing um, some um, some comparative statements, and I want to go ahead and actually, um, let me just open Notepad really fast. Come on. So in C++, guys, um, as we know, um, equals like that. Um, it means assigned to, so that is going to be equals, does not equal, greater than or less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Um, you guys can also do um, subtract, add, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and declare our variables. We are going to basically have a... Um, the user input a number between zero through 10 um, and have it print different things based on what number they put in. So let's go ahead and do a integer variable called user num. So for an if statement, if, and we're going to go ahead and put in here, if user num actually equals zero, and then we're going to tell the program to do something. Um, let's just do, So basically what it's doing is we're saying if the user enters exactly the number zero, print out your number is. Um, else if, so that's basically saying, um, basically, you know, if that doesn't equal zero, what else can it enter uh, to be? So let's do user num is less than, or is greater than zero or so in C++ you can do or or you can just do two lines and is also you can also do the double and sign <laughs> so if user number is greater than zero or user num is less than or equal to three And we're just we're just gonna make this stupid, guys. It's it's not really gonna be anything.
And then this last one, guys, we're just gonna type else because it's gonna go through everything. Basically, if user num, actually we're gonna do else if, we're gonna make sure there's an error statement in here. User num, And then here, this last statement, right? So let's say the user doesn't put in. So for this one, guys, we are gonna say um, else. So basically, you know, if the user doesn't put in zero or so if user num is less than or is less than zero or user num is greater than 10, we are going to print to the screen invalid number. All right, and if we run this, guys, oh, what did I do wrong? Oh. There we go, no, let's try. Really? Why is it being on right now? Let me see if I can just do this. There we go, now it's working. Enter a whole number between one to 10, 10. So we now see that there is an issue. Uh, arf arf dogs rule, 10. So we know that we didn't do this right. Why is it? Aha, right here. So we wanna change this to a and. And that should fix it. It should fix it. There we go. So if we run it again. So invalid number. Let's go ahead and try with zero. Your number is zero. So this is kind of guys how, and the reason it wasn't doing this right the first time is because we had it under or. So it was saying it was checking this first part um, and not the second part because it was saying, oh, user number is greater than zero. So it did this statement first. So um, that is kind of how if else statements work. Um, for an example, I'm gonna go ahead and open the homework assignment I just did. Um, so basically this was to um, negate the smallest value among an RGB color to get rid of the gray. Um, if you guys see here, this is basically saying, you know, if you put in a number between any of those, program will stop and then it's gonna find the smallest value um, between them and then basically print it out. So if you run it, input red value 255, input green value 155, and let's do 155, um, let's do 150. And then it basically adjusts all of the colors to get rid of the gray value. So if you guys like the content, like and subscribe.